Hi, I'm Vicki Soma. Hi, I'm Zayn Zom. And this is Teagall 3D. Today's episode I'm going to call Being a Superhero to My Kids. Mostly, <laughs> mostly the two year old. Um, we recently got a hand me down parking garage toy and the elevator that moves the cars up and down is broken. It's missing a piece so the string can't attach to it. And this has caused some discontent. Me, mommy. 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 So what I had been doing was taking a toothpick and tying it to the end of the string and that was enough to allow it to go up, but it was coming undone quite a bit, which brought us back to the discontent. So I thought, hey, with a 3D printer, I have Tinkercad. We can go ahead and do a little bit better than a toothpick. Our process started with calipers, which to my kids are a super fun toy. Next up was Tinkercad, completely free and web-based. Another advantage of Tinkercad is it has a colorful interface, which tends to entertain my kids. I love Blender, but it doesn't keep their attention as much. This is a very easy design. First, I have a cylinder that's going to be the exact measurements of my hole. Underneath that, a wider cylinder that's going to keep it from getting pulled through the hole. And at the top, a little hook that we can tie a string on. Since I was going to be working on exact measurements, the first thing I did was drag a ruler tool to my work plane. This would allow me to type in the exact measurements rather than dragging and dropping. I dragged a cylinder to my work plane and then I typed in measurements to size it down so it was flat and wide. Then I dragged a second cylinder on there and this one I sized to be exactly the measurements of my hole. I wanted a very, very snug fit. I didn't use any kind of clearances. Last up was a thick tube. I dragged that on there and as you can see I wanted to rotate it. If you hold the shift key down you can rotate it 45 degrees at a time. So two little rotations to get to 90 degrees. The last thing I wanted to do was make sure all my parts were nice and centered and aligned. And with that, I selected them all, went to adjust align, and I centered them with each other. We started the print, and then while I printed, we went ahead and killed some time by making pancakes. Doo -doo 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 -doo. With the part printed and the pancakes ingested, it was time for my moment of truth. And the piece fit! Hooray for calipers! I think as long as it's got the pressure of the... Yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay, so here it was a Saturday morning. My youngest didn't even have his pajamas out yet. And we had already 3D modeled our fix, 3D printed our fix, installed it, so we fixed the kid craft deluxe brunch playset. And we had pancakes too! So my mom's self-esteem was super, super high. Like, what else can my kids possibly want? Dude, I can poop. He's still. Just that going in the meeting plug. <laughs> Mom's work is never done. Well, that's today's episode. I hope this gives you ideas on how you can be a superhero to your kids. Um, if you have any questions or any kind of comments, please feel free to reach out to me. I'm at TGAW on Twitter. You can comment down below here on YouTube. There'll also be an accompanying blog post where I go step-by-step uh, -step with my step modeling in Tinkercad. Uh, you can comment there as well. Thank you, and have a great day. Mom!